Hello, big family. Uh, my name is Pastor Andy, and we've got Billy and Molly. Everyone say hi. 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 Y'all say hi. All righty. Hey, we wanted to come to you this morning and just do a little bit of a, of a devotional for you today. So we're going to play a quick little game, okay? I'm going to play with Billy and Molly, and you have to play at home as well. Now, Billy and Molly, they're a little bit nervous, okay? <laughs> because I haven't told them what we're about to do. So um, again, we're all gonna play along. So if you're at home, uh, go ahead and, and stand up and get ready for this, because we're gonna play a quick little game of Simon Says, okay? Not really Simon Says, but I'm going to give some instructions and let's see how well um, you can respond to the instructions, all right? Very simple things, all right? First thing is this, okay? Pat your head. Everybody, right now, if you're at home, you're watching, wherever you are, just go ahead and pat your head. All right, are Billy and Molly doing a great job? Yeah, not so bad, not so bad. Okay, stop. Next thing, rub your belly. Let's see if they can do it. Are they, yep, yep, they can do it. Well, how about you at home? You're rubbing your belly? Yeah, very good, very good. All right, <laughs> now, here's the kicker. Pat your head and rub your belly. Let's see, who can do it? Who can do it? Uh, is it kind of gets a little it. bit more challenging, right? How you feel, Billy? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you look uh -huh. good. Yeah, look good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next thing. Who can put your arms out like an airplane and fly? All right, wherever you're at, at home, just go ahead, put your airplane, start flying around. Okay, all right. Very good, okay. So, you guys are doing, you're doing fantastic. Hey, and you're doing fantastic at home. I hope you're engaging and you're not just watching um, at how silly these guys are. So here's the thing. Um, you guys have pretty good control of your body. All right, you've got pretty good control. Let's just see how much control you really have. All right, here's, here's another one. Stop your hair from growing. Go ahead. Stop your hair, and you at home, stop your hair from growing. Can you do that? Can anybody do it? Is that a little bit more difficult? Yeah. Molly, are you able to, are you succeeding at? Um, I think I stopped one hair from growing. Stopped you, you stopped one hair? hair? Okay, all righty. So here's another one. Um, your, your stomach is always digesting fluids and food and things like that, and things like that. Stop your stomach from digesting food right now, go. <laughs> How about you at home? Can you do it? Can you stop your stomach from digesting food? You can't. It didn't work. Can you? All right. Well, how about this one? Right now, as you breathe, everyone take a deep breath. Let it out. Did you know that your lungs are bringing in the good gases and they are releasing bad gases? All right. Your, your lungs are doing that. Can you make your lungs stop doing that? Can you make your lungs take in the bad gases and release the good gases? Can anybody do that? Can you do that at home? No. We can't, can we? Mm -hmm. So here's my point. We don't have as much control of our body as we think we do. There's a lot um, that, that God has, there's a lot of ways that God has designed our bodies to work that are outside of our control. You know what, Billy, Molly, and you at home, that reminds me of kind of the things that are happening this week. Things are different, right? Yep. I mean, I came in today, there's no big citizens, right? You, uh, a lot of people are at home right now. And so it's sad, but we don't, we don't have a lot of control over, over the situation. And sometimes we find ourselves in a place in life where we just don't have control. But there's good news. Let me ask you guys a question. Who does have control? Hey, did you know that? Did you know that even though there are situations in our life that are out of our control, that everything is in God's control? In fact, let me give you a verse of scripture to kick you off on your Tuesday morning. Proverbs 16 verse 9 says this, The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. What that means is that we often plan our way, and sometimes we think that we're in control, but it is God who establishes our steps. It is God who is really in control. And here's the thing. It goes all the way back to the very beginning. Anyone know the very first verse um, of the Bible? 
Say it with me. In the beginning, God created the what? Heavens and the heavens earth. And the, earth. the heavens and the earth. He created everything. So here's what that means. He created it all. So that means he's in control of it all. So big citizens, Billy, Molly, and Pam on the camera. Everyone say hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. You can know this today. All right, you can know this today. God is in control. In fact, right now, turn to someone in the room who's watching this with you, and you remind them right now. Tell them out loud, God is in control. God, God is, is in, in control. control. God is in control. Hey, hope you have a blessed Tuesday morning. We cannot wait for you to get back to the big makeshift family. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.